So now we can select all our rooms and export it to an OBJ file. And we can save this, uh, we can even overwrite the original one we had and save it as, uh, I've saved it as tutorial. Now uh, what we're going to do is uh, create our clipping file. So a uh, clipping file uh, is pretty much wherever you can walk. Selects the polygons of uh, walkable surfaces. So uh, we're just going to delete everything that uh, we don't want uh, to be able to walk on. So in this map, it's actually extremely easy. Uh, there's not really all these different tiered uh, height differences in the polygons. So uh, we we'll just quickly uh, select them all and delete them all. So like we did before, we're going to select all our uh, groups here and uh, export it as, uh, I'm going to save it as tutorial-clipping, uh, just so we can uh, remember that it is the clipping file. So now the problem is, uh, GoldenEye Setup Editor doesn't like the object file that, uh, the OBJ file that, uh, XSI exports, so uh, we need to use the help of Blender. We're going to import a group, and um, just do a quick, we can look around and see that our level imported properly, we're just going to export it, and you can write right over top of uh, the original file. Make sure you export with groups. I click triangulate, but I don't think it's a real big deal. Um, we can delete that and do the same for the clipping. Import the OBJ. Now it's uh, important when you import that uh, you separate objects by group and make sure the clamp scale is set to zero. Again, we can see that it imported fine and then we'll export it again. And we'll overwrite the file that we used before. Now. Uh, now these OBJ files should be um, readable by the setup editor. So we're going to start up a new file. Uh, I use DAM. I set the scale to 1, which is usually a good uh, rough estimate when importing um, from Hammer. We're going to uh, convert an OBJ file to uh, GoldenEye level. We're going to select our uh, OBJ file, our main one. We're going to export uh, background file. Use our room positions text and uh, just save it up. Now you might not see the level at first, but you'll have to move around, but uh, yeah, there we go. There's our level in, so now we're going to have to import our clipping. So edit clipping mode, and uh, import from OBJ, and select our clip file. Now if you click the view clipping, we can see, uh, it's actually easy to see with level off, we can see our clipping file has it imported properly. So now, uh, sometimes there's a few problems, so I'm going to select them all and uh, stand convert and the redo clipping connections. I really don't know what they do, but it seems to help uh, any clipping problems that we do have. So in the edit object mode, I'm going to add a start, uh, just so it doesn't really complain when we save. Uh, we'll save it up by... Uh, adding a name to a project, selecting the folder that we want, and uh, I've added a uh, fresh GoldenEye ROM to our uh, project directory. And now we can import it, or uh, inject the project into the ROM, and uh, run it. And as you can see, we have a few problems. Although the clipping file seems to be working properly, uh, all we can display is uh, the first room. Uh, one reason behind that is uh, because each clipping tile has a, a room number assigned to it. Another thing we've seen with the map is that it seemed a little too big. So what I'm going to do is import uh, a character, actually a little small, by the looks of uh, that. So I use a character to uh, just kind of judge where we're at. So I'm going to save this as well with the character, just so we're uh, when we load it back up, he's still there. This little technique I like to do is pretty fast to uh, figure what scale we want the, the map to. So if we open our... Uh, if we go back to our main uh, GoldenEye Editor directory and open Level Macros, um, find the project, uh, find the project file, and uh, modify the scale. The lower the number, uh, we'll make it uh, bigger, I guess. 
So I'll just try a scale of 0.7 for now and we can reopen our project. And as we can see, it uh, Jaws has kind of gotten smaller in relation to the map, but uh, not small enough. So I'm going to retry with 5, that should do. you got to imagine Jaws standing up, but uh, yeah, I think that'll do. So there's our scaling problem out of the way. So the next thing we can do is, uh, I guess, get rid of him to save up. Now, uh, now we need to assign each clipping tile to a certain room. Now if we can display one room at a time, we can see that our room one, uh, well, everything was assigned to room one. And you can uh, supposedly import a, a clipping file uh, separated with rooms all together, but it didn't seem to work uh, properly with me. So we can just select all the clipping tiles and uh, change it to the room. And now if we switch to the room two using uh, O and P to move back and forth between rooms, we can see that uh, the level worked properly. And do the same for uh, room 3. Now I'll just skip ahead here because uh, that takes some time. So now uh, if we shift between uh, our rooms we can see that uh, our clipping tile has been properly assigned to each room. So the uh, next thing to do is add portals. So if uh, first we're gonna have to delete all the portals, they haven't been uh, since they're imported with the background file, not the setup file. Uh, they're still uh, so uh, select two uh, clipping tiles that uh, separate the rooms uh, and create a portal from two tiles. Now we're gonna need to modify the size of those because the clipping tile does not extend uh, the exact range of the room. And sometimes, uh, like I just did there, you'll have to check uh, which hmm, which side is uh, used by uh, which clipping tile. Sometimes they don't come out exactly the way you want it. So if you load your map and you see you can't see through a file, then uh, just double check those and flip them around. Sometimes they get flipped all ass backwards. So uh, now we can run our map, save it up, inject it, um, and we can see. Uh, that our level looks fine. We can see from each room and everything works properly. Um, looks like we have a clipping problem there, but uh, there's more tutorials on the site on how to fix those. That's not a big deal. So now we're going to uh, create our rails into... Uh, so you can see that uh, we loaded two indice files and one's empty and one's full. So uh, to start off uh, our second indice file or index file or whatever you want to call it, we're going to have to add these first three uh, X uh, digits just kind of copy and paste them in. Now, uh, important to notice that uh, the last two of the B9 uh, command, we're going to have to change to a 49D8. Now, the special command for uh, C3 railings we're going to have to add is a B6. And uh, the last, or the second last, uh, group of numbers will add 3-0. And I seem to have uh, not been able to count there. There we go. So, uh, how this, f okay. So, yeah, you see how the, we kept that preset number in there? It's a good thing to find. Now, we can see, we look down the rows. Uh, each little command there is, uh, I guess, eight digits across. We can look down and see that... Uh, all right, the texture command is CO, and the last two digits are that preset uh, number. And then we can look down again and see that uh, 0, 1, 2, we can check that, uh, that those are the numbers. So we're going to select uh, everything that comes after uh, the, the railing texture up until the, the other texture group, and we're just going to cut and paste them in. And uh, every uh, indice file needs to end with a B8, so just copy that from the end, save them up, and uh, export to a full background file. Now we're going to have to edit our room positions text. That's a little big, 